hello my youtubers friend welcome to my channel and today i will be showing you how to configure python interpreter in Delhi. so i will i will highly recommend you pycharm and visual studio code for python but if you want to give more time to java and you have to also learn python side by side and give little bit time for python then you can use interlege if you want to so so let's now go to through the installation so for installing you have to what you have to do is go to python.org and go to download and click on this and after clicking on this you have to keep everything default okay everything default and just do, uh, do continue 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 and install it okay but uh, in mac you have to do every keep everything default but if you are using windows so at the start page it will show you uh, one checkbox that you, it will be written that add python to path so you have to check that and if you don't check that then you can't configure python in intellij okay so you can't configure python in intellij so after installing what you have to do is close this and go to intellij okay and after going to intellij you can see that we have done nothing. I have just opened a, a sample file here. This is my uh, student validation program. You can check it. I will uh, I will give the description in the link if you want to see how it works. Then after doing this, you have to go here and just open your preferences. Okay, I will open my preferences. And here you have to go in plugins and search for python and here you will click on install so i am waiting it for install being getting installed so now it is installed and let's check if we have been installed so let's now apply it so installing plugin python community edition now after clicking on apply now it should be applied to your computer now means it to your to your internet so okay now i'll go here and install and you can see that i got python community edition it is checked means it is installed now click on ok now you can see that nothing happened but something happened we have now added this so you can see that it is now configured now what you have to do you have to go in file in project structure and here you can see that it has configured project name and uh, this because this uh, this uh, at the first if you open project structure and uh, install python in uh, plugin at the uh, for the first time then you will not see this you will see your java and your jdk being configured like this something so it will be like this but what you have to do you have to just say change this to python and just select this you, uh, i have two interpreters so i don't know why and you can see that it has also detected one more this is my python 2 because mac was gives us a default interpreter python 2 then if you are using python 2 then you can uh, just check this but i am using python 3 okay so after doing this you have to click on apply and okay so after doing this i will go here and you can see that now also nothing happened but something happened let's now check if something happened or not so let's check our comments in java there are double slashes right so let's check hello let's write hello and let's command slash you can see that it gives an hashtag means it has configured python and if it does not configure python means it will give an error that you are using wrong okay or it will give a slash slash okay because java uses slash and now here after doing this and you can see that in my every project okay in my every project it has given me like this pi file you can see this is small python 
icon here okay means we have now configured our python interpreter and now what you have to do now you have to run this let's just try to run this okay so you can see that we are not getting run in terminal like we are not getting run in terminal and run is not working and run file in python console mostly some people don't like to run python in file uh, in console but like to run this in the services so let's check how to run that what you can you do you can just go to uh, add configurations you have to just click this plus button small plus button and you can see that there's a python okay you have to check the okay you have to click on this and now it has just used it and now you can see it is given un unnamed okay so after doing this what you have to do you have to click use specified interpreter you it will just go, go here in use as dk model but I, you have to click on use specified interpreter and you have to give the script path okay so let's just give the script path what i am running my or you can just let's just keep this only okay don't do anything okay and apply and okay and now here i have to just right click Oh, let's just give the script path let's edit configurations i'll give the name of the file so it's tuto real student validation validation okay and here i'll give the script path like this which it is student validation right so here it is And it has given the work working directory also okay now let's check let's just apply this so let's apply and okay so now let's run it let's run it let's run it now I have clicked on run and you can see that it is asking for an enter name of first friend means our code is working right so let's just give me a b c d a b so we got an error that we have given int so let it be now we have uh, like our, uh, our code is working right in IntelliJ it is working now let's check if it can work in other files you will not like to just go like go to the go to edit configuration edit the configuration for every file and just write the step path then what you can do after just setting up one okay after just setting up one what you can do you can just go here let me just open one um which should i open so let's now open my hashing password dot file i'm not taught you how to hash password i can teach you how to hash passwords and store it in a database and um, just give a big like to the video and comment down if you want and now let's just go here and right click it now after you right click you can see that it is showing me running run hash hashing hash passwords hashing passwords so why because we just specified here that our working directory is this so jo every file give it that after right clicking you can run hashing passwords so i have by mistakely ran def debug i'll stop this and let me just run oh yeah sorry 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 um i'll click on run hashing password and you can see we got true we got true because we did something but we ran the okay we had run ran this on the right okay last time we got we got input one but now it giving me something else right so our python is now working in intelligence now you, you can make how to make files you can also make files uh, after installing the plugin you have to do right click and new python file so it is showing me python file now you can click on python file here is unit test and stub also let me just get, make a unit test and write a hello so this imported unit test and now you can just test the case 
and if you want to do some unit testing then you can use this i will not do this i'll just delete it now for now but it it does uh, just imported something by which i can do unit testing as a default so now intellij is working with python and if you want more videos please subscribe my channel and like this video and i will see you next time